What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's Brett Maverick here. I hope you all are having an awesome day so far. So if you live on planet Earth, then you're probably well aware that Aquaman has pretty much been a box office smash hit and everybody wants to know how Jason Momoa, the main character, got that physique. He looks really fit, really muscular and just powerful like a superhero and that's what most guys i'm sure want to look like right and since he hasn't actually came out and admitted his uh, workout program i took it upon myself to scour through his footage and quotes that he's made and come up with a workout of my own that would result in the physique of aquaman so let's take a look at his physique and kind of figure out what he's got going on what kind of proportions he's working with and how we can achieve that same thing i think i'm going to enjoy this video because in all honesty i think jason momoa and myself have very very similar physiques. I don't say that to be cocky or anything, but just looking at the tie-ins and the proportions, um, you know, he doesn't have those super animated tie-ins, you know, in the back of his arms like uh, like Thor does there. Um, he also has a bit of a more thick waist. I'm not blessed with the most uh, slim waist of all time. But if we take a closer look, you can see that he's very chest dominant. You know, if, if you look at his chest, they're big, round, and solid. Shoulders, not a whole lot of shoulders going on. But then look down his arms, pretty good. Pretty good in proportion with the rest of his body, but definitely doesn't look like he emphasizes them too much. And then this picture here, you can really see his back development. He has a really strong back as well as as well as his lower back. You can see his rhomboids, his rear delts are pretty good there, upper chest, he's got that nice V taper going on. So looking at this pictures, I can tell you now that our workout is really gonna prioritize chest as well as back. So let me tell you what I came up with. So since he's lean but not super shredded, we're gonna focus on moderate to heavy weight because we wanna build up that muscle mass to begin with. And also from what I read from his actual personal trainer, he does a lot of circuit training and that's his primary format of working out. Also, he does a lot of rock climbing, so I think that's probably where a lot of his back gains came from. So we're gonna kinda try to emulate that with a couple of our exercises. And also what I just read. Another thing that I read from his personal trainer is that he separates his upper body from his lower body days. Since you don't even see his legs in the movie, we're just gonna focus on upper body. Ultimately, the workout that I constructed is based off of exercises that I've actually seen him doing, so that's what we're gonna do too. And without further ado, Let's see what it looks like. Okay, so we're kicking this thing off with close grip pull-ups. This sort of emulates the rock climbing that Jason does, but not only that, I've actually seen footage of him doing this exact exercise, so I thought this was perfect to throw in there. So make sure you do 10 to 15 reps, and if it's too easy for you, you can do it weighted. You can either pinch a weight between your legs, or if you have an actual weight harness, throw a plate in there, make it a little bit harder on yourself. Then since, you know, we're not trying to burn a bunch of fat, we're going to take a 30 to 45 second rest in between each exercise. Next up we got side raises. Since we said that uh, Jason doesn't really prioritize his shoulders, we're only doing one shoulder exercise and I chose this one because I actually saw him doing it so I know that he for sure does this. You should go moderately heavy, do about 60% of your max weight. Okay, next exercise is incline bench press. Now, I actually haven't seen Jason doing this exercise, but just looking at his physique, you can tell he has a strong upper chest, so I don't really think he could achieve that chest without doing this. So we're going moderately heavy, doing 10 repetitions. Again, I went too light on this because I underestimated it, so I do about 60% of your max weight and rep them out. All right, next up we got high cable rows. This is really great, one of my favorite exercises if you saw it in my last video that I did. But I've actually seen Jason doing this exercise so we know he does it. And again, you can tell from his footage and his pictures, he's got a great back. So that's why we're doing two back exercises and not just one in this circuit. Okay, next we have this push-up dumbbell row variation. And this is a nice hybrid 
between chest and back you know you're put you're using the chest when you do the push-up then you're activating the back when you do the dumbbell row on the reverse side so we're doing 10 repetitions on each side so it's going to look like a total of 20. Take a little bit of a rest and get ready for the last exercise. All right, so looking at Jason's physique, his abs aren't insanely developed. So we're just doing one ab exercise and this is leg raises. So we're gonna do 20 repetitions, pumping them out, getting a lot of blood flowing into the abs, breaking those muscle fibers down, making it hurt. This is great because it really activates the whole abdominal delts, the whole ab area. All right, and that's one round, and we're done. All right, guys, there's one round of the Jason Momoa Aquaman workout. So it was really good. Actually got a really good pump in my chest, also in my back. Got a little uh, little, delt, little delt action in there too. So, uh, you know, like I was saying, really emphasize the chest. That's the most important thing, the most uh, central part of the Aquaman physique back as well totally it's going to get shredded if you do this enough times so i would say probably do this once a week work it into your normal routine your uh normal workout spread because you don't want to do it too much because then you'll have uh, trouble recovering so uh yeah guys it was really good try it out let me know what you guys think if there's anything else you guys want to see in the future also let me know if you enjoyed this type of video because it was pretty fun for me but uh yeah other than that thanks for watching if you haven't already subscribe turn post notifications on and until next time peace out